Hello, my loves. This is like an impromptu vlog baby sleeping like I have this laundry list of stuff that I have to do but I'm like what do I have to do all the baby sleeping I was finishing you can see on my table maybe not I was finishing Christmas cards because I'm not licking envelopes Ugh. I had to tape all the envelopes shut I had to put all the little return address labels on there Adam was amazing and he helped me last night because our printer didn't work I was trying to print labels they only printed on paper they wouldn't print on the labels the printer kept eating them so we taped on all of the addresses it actually looks fine but the baby kept grabbing them off the table so did that just washed some dishes the reason i'm here is because i promised you guys holiday outfits that kind of stuff so i figured i'd work it into one because we are leaving on tuesday today's friday the reason i have makeup on and lashes and all that is because we filmed two episodes of our podcast today so that we have them scheduled while we're gone we're gonna be gone for two and a half weeks this morning you guys oh I needed to bring two outfits because there were like change in between. Last night, I was so tired. I'm like, I'll just figure it out in the morning. I had like a basic idea of what I wanted to wear, but I found this really pretty shirt that I got at H&M like years ago in my closet the other day. I'm like, oh, that would be really pretty. Washed it, but it's like this, it's beautiful. It's this white blouse underneath and it's, it's all one piece, but it looks like a corset on top and it's navy blue with white pinstripes on the corset part. So I'm like, what the hell do you even wear with this? When I first wore it, skinny jeans were like, all the rage. So I just wore it with skinny jeans and the boots. I wore it to prison to visit Adam. So I tried it on with the skinny pants, didn't look right. And now I'm going not to have the shirt on. I'm trying to go through my house looking for something that's gonna match. I'm running around in my underwear, Adam's in the shower, listening to a work meeting, have Miss Rachel on for CJ in the background. He's into everything. I just like overstimulated myself, got myself in the worst mood. We're getting ready to leave the house. Adam's like, do you know what time it is? And I'm like, don't talk to me about it. I was such a crank in the car the whole way there. I was such a crank. I actually talked about it on the podcast. In the process of this, in the process of trying to figure out what I'm wearing, which I will never do again, I will always decide the night before. Because then I have to decide like how I'm going to do my hair around it. Do I need to straighten it for the outfit? Do I need to put it up? How I'm going to do my makeup? You guys know. I didn't have any of that. So I have destroyed the house. I will show you when the baby wakes up, but he's sleeping in the bedroom, but there's like clothes all over my bed, clothes all, clothes all over my laundry room because that's where my spare clothes are. My spare clothes. That's where an extra closet with more clothes are. I couldn't find a pair of shoes, so I like pulled every shoe and box off the shelf. It's a mess. So I figured I'd make this video trying on all the stuff that I'm gonna bring with me to New Jersey. Not all of it. I'm gonna try on outfits so you guys can get outfit ideas and then I'll figure out what I'm bringing to New Jersey. Kind of like vlog slash outfit ideas for you. I don't know, I'm just trying different things with the channel. A whole bunch of people said you love true crime, but those videos didn't really hit. I'm not loving making them, so I might sprinkle a few in there. The mom videos weren't really loved, so I don't know, just figuring out, having fun in the meantime. Let me know what you think. Right now we are gonna finish stamping the envelopes, drink my protein shake that I just made, and get on with our day. We'll get to the trial court when the baby wakes up. But yeah. Sneak into the room like baby sleeping so I can get my stamps. careful because last year it took me forever to edit the video that I made while I was stamping my cards. I think I was talking about how the baby had surgery the week before. I showed my return address so many times so it took me a while to edit it. We do use a PO box but still I don't want other people, people that I'm sending it to, I don't want their address on YouTube. So here we go. I'm gonna keep stamping. I'm sitting on the baby's high chair but did you guys know that my dad told me this? Back in the day, like at least when he was in the army, if you put a stamp on an envelope upside down, it means I love you, or at least it did back then. So he used to stamp all his all of his envelopes, like this was Vietnam time, to my mom with the stamp upside down. So every time I sent Adam a letter in prison, I would always put the stamp upside down. But I don't know if I ever told him that's what it meant. Funny, right? These are all going right side up. Maybe I'll do my dad's upside down and then I'll ask him because I'm staying with him for the holidays when we go to New Jersey. 
part of the video and I realized as I started trying on a ton of outfits that I made them all in the beginning around the same pair of pants. So here's what I did. I'm trying on all of these clothes with the same pair of pants. It's kind of like those one pair of pants, five ways videos that you see on TikTok or Instagram. But you could always make these outfits with jeans, with leggings, with black jeans. You could change the bottoms completely just depending on your style. If you don't like that leather look, these are vegan leather. Do your thing, but these are just some inspiration. I will link everything that I've tried on in the description box below. Also, I am so curious. What do you think about these Versace inspired shoes? I am obsessed with them and the platform trend this season, you know, short girl problems, but I'd love to know what you think. So we did these dressed up, dressed down. You could wear heels, you could wear flats. You could switch it up depending on what event you have to go to, but don't think that you have to wear each of these with one specific thing. Okay, I fell in love with this vegan leather shirt. Kind of cute with a pair of vegan leather pants too. Since it's the holidays, we decided to go with some red and green. At first I tried these on, I'm like, oh, green, winner. Imagine if those were the shoes with the green fur. But then I put on the red boots and I'm like, oh my God, I love these so much too. I guess it just depends on your style, what's going on, what the weather is with the holidays. Okay, before you get come for me, you should probably try on this outfit with biker shorts or spanks or tights or something like that. And it would be absolutely adorable. I just didn't have them within reach and the baby was starting to wake up. Also absolutely obsessed with this outfit. Just some flare split leg jeans that are really on trend right now. Same shirt and I just belted it with a Valentino inspired belt. So now I put on that first outfit I tried on. I just wanted to show you it casual. I'll probably wear this to fly because it's just so comfortable but it's still really cute. Changed the top, added a jacket and then I decided, wait, the outfit just doesn't look complete yet. So let's add a cross body. Baby woke up, see him in the background. So this had to be done. I ran out to the garage because I needed to find my suitcases because we are leaving on Tuesday to go to New Jersey for two and a half weeks. In between, I found my wreath and then underneath that whole stack of clothes. I think I told you guys in a video recently that Adam got donated a whole bunch of clothes for his dress for success type of program for people coming out of jail and prison. So right now we just have them in the garage until he gets an office space where he can keep them. But I had to repile them all back up, take the baby back upstairs. And then I think this is where we're gonna leave this. So I will be back with a vlog from New Jersey. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I will see you guys very soon. We love you.